Hello everyone, this is the Insert Title Show and I am your host, Wolf Strap. On this episode, I am going to show you Ezio's personal collection of books. <laughs> I guess his uh, personal library in Constantinople. Alright, let's see. Gotta go to the secret headquarters of the Assassin's uh, Guild or whatever the hell they are. Let's see, there we go. Uh, let's go with Brotherhood. Yeah, not really a guild. More of a Brotherhood. Okay, so yeah, basically you can buy books in this game, which is pretty cool. I think you can find them too, so... As a uh, guy who owns a couple of hundred books, I found this pretty interesting. And a lot of these, uh, oh, here's the, uh, layer. Dun dun dun! You just open the door. Nice security, uh, we got here. <laughs> Top notch. All right, let's go see the library, shall we? And the cool thing about this uh, is just all these books in this game are books, too. So these are basically the most famous books of the time. Hello. Hmm? It's you, you old snake. You walked right past me. Forgive me, Sophia, I did not notice. What are you doing in Galata? Making some deliveries. Is this where you stay? Uh, see, si. It is a kind of school. What is taught here? Come this way. I want to show you something. I have been stalking the library here with rare books. A good start, no? Ah, these are all so beautiful, and such diversity. So are these men and women your students? In a way, yes. Well, if they ever need a literature scholar, give them my name. In a pinch, I am a pretty good teacher. If they find the time to read, I certainly will. Oh, Chaucer. Bellissimo. <laughs> yeah, just like I told you, top-notch security. She just walked in here. <sighs> well, uh, that's Sophia, Ezio's future wife. So she's a bit of a uh, bibliophile, I guess. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that character trait about her. All right, so yeah, here's all the books I've collected. I collected them all, I believe. Let's see. I think there's an achievement for getting them all. Okay, yep. Collect all available books. Got that almost exactly two years ago. Cool. Let's see, what's up first? Ah, Aesop. Me Flint. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, Aesop's Fables are pretty cool. I haven't, uh, I haven't read them yet. I actually own it. Yeah, that's the cool thing about this game is it got me to buy all, buy a lot of these old books. Uh, I need to get around to reading it. You know, Aesop's Fables are pretty damn famous. That's where we get the story of the tortoise and the hare and stuff like that. So, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty cool. Need to read that. What's this one? <laughs> yeah, basically about a guy bitching about having to go to the city of Constantinople. That's pretty funny. Don't know if I'll bother to buy that one, but um, yeah, the cool thing about these books is that they're old as hell, so there's really no copyright law. So I think um, I'm going to get a list of each and every one of these and actually put a link in the description so that if you're curious, you can actually read these. Yeah, online or whatever. Or if you want to, you can just buy the books. Like I'm planning on buying most of these. Yeah, like this one sounds pretty cool. Plutarch's Parallel Lives. Only men, sadly. <laughs> Ugh. Who do you think was kicking ass at this time for the most part? 
Ah, uh, the Odyssey. I own that one, of course. Haven't read it yet. I need to. Well, maybe when I get done with the uh, Trojan War series, I'll uh, get on that. Oh, yay. Pre-Islamic Arabic. What was that? Pre-Islamic Arabic poems. Okay. I'm sure my head will be able to keep from exploding trying to read that. Ah, the Aeneid. I own that, too. I'll definitely have to read that by the end of uh, my Trojan War series. Should be pretty good. Ah, the first geography book. Ptolemy. Was that the uh, uh, second century? Uh, huh. Interesting. Wonder which Ptolemy that was. <laughs> Sounds interesting. It's a shame, but it could be interesting. Huh. I wonder if that was uh, Arian's work on Alexander. I think his name was Arian. God, I need to look into that stuff. What's this? Oh, wow. <laughs> Not terse enough. Opus minus. Yeah, that sounds a bit above my uh, intellect, but uh, that's pretty cool. Ah, I got some Viking stuff now. Snowy Storlison. Yep, I've heard of him. Well, I mean, he's like the guy for uh, Viking stories. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, I've only read one book on the Mongols. I definitely need to learn more about them. I hear tell uh, Dan Carlin's got a pretty good series on them. I need to check his stuff out. Oh, wow. Eighty-seven, baby. That's my lucky number. <laughs> How the hell could I not remember that title? Wow. Okay. Becker S. Style. Huh, that sounds uh, interesting. Ah, Metamorphoses. I think I own that. I think I do. Might be my only uh, piece of Ovid's work that I have, actually. Again, I have not read it. Gotta get around to it one day. Alright, guess that's it for this side of the library. What's over here? Ah, okay. I actually own a very nice copy of this. Yeah, Barnes & Noble had a very nice illustrated edition a couple of years ago. Well, yeah, I mean, the reason why it's a controversy is because basically the story of Marco Polo comes to us because Marco Polo was imprisoned in Genoa, I think. And basically he told a prisoner all of these stories and that guy wrote them down. That's the only reason why we know about Marco Polo is because the guy wrote him down. There's no other, really, any proof. I mean, hell, the Chinese didn't even mention Marco Polo, so unfortunately it's probably all bullshit, but who am I to say? Hey, 1001 Nights. I actually, about a month ago, watched the old, um, 
I guess it was Hallmark Channel TV movie, and it was really good. I really liked it. It kind of made me want to read the book, but uh, yeah, I'll get around to it one of these days. There's actually several different versions of it, which is annoying because... You know, there's, uh, there's like one version that's only the Persian stories, and then there's one version with all this other stuff, and then there's the version that's like the later version that has all the famous stories like um, Aladdin and uh, Alibaba and the 40 Thieves and all that. So I kind of want the ultimate version of 1001 Nights. I need to kind of look for that and find it, hopefully. Holy shit. Wow, for it to be that old, that's pretty uh, pretty damn impressive. Ah, now there's a famous one. <laughs> Probably. That was the one with um, Sigurd, right? And uh, Fafnir and all that. Sigurd, Sigurd, something. Been a while, been a while. Ah, the Iliad, my favorite book about war. This is one of the few books in the game that I have actually read. Yep, this is definitely, I think, the best book ever written about war. So, if you haven't read this, definitely check it out, for the love of God. Ah, The Canterbury Tales. That's the book that uh, Sophia was talking about. Jeffrey of uh, Saucer. Yeah. Ah, I got a nice copy of this. Uh, again, Barnes & Noble had a nice illustrated edition uh, a couple of years ago, and I picked that up. Still need to read it. Uh, if you ever saw the movie Night's Tale, Jeffrey Saucer is in that movie played by... Um, oh my god, what was that guy's name? He's married to... Um, shit, what's her name? <laughs> He's married to the chick from the movie Labyrinth, but uh, yeah, that was a, that was a good movie. Hopefully the book's pretty badass, too. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine uh, what Byzantine must have been like back then. The Flute Girl. Sounds like a movie that's going to be coming out nowadays. Let's see. What's this? I think that's Ezio's journal. Okay, that sounds pretty nuts. But, uh, eh, man. Eh, <sighs> gotta come up with this stuff somehow. That's pretty freaking cool. Yeah. Has 300 book reviews. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's uh that's pretty cool. Ah. Chronica. Oh wow. That sounds pretty cool. Have to look for that. Welcome home, mentor. Chronica. Hi. How's it going? Ah, sensuous, eh? Huh. Interesting. Yeah, this book actually sounds pretty good. Um, I need to get it. It's on Amazon. Yeah, definitely need to check that out. Okay, I think that's all of the uh, books in the game. Um, I mean, I think they're missing kind of a few, like... Um, Dante's Divine Comedy should be here. Never understood why it was called a comedy, but, you know, whatever. 
Um, I guess like Beowulf, but kind of <laughs> be kind of crazy coming across Beowulf in Constantinople at this time. But uh, I mean, it's kind of the biggest book out of England up until Shakespeare, probably. So yeah, they should have had that here. But uh, yeah, anyway. And that's all the books in Ezio's book collection. So, uh, yeah, if you guys want to check out any of those, um, I'm sure they sell most of them on Amazon. And like I said, I'm going to try and find them online and uh, put a link to each one in the description. So, uh, yeah, check them out if you want to.